Hello, is the microphone working? <laughs> can you just comment yes if you can hear me? All right, welcome guys. How's everyone doing? So before we get started tonight, just make sure that you have a yoga block. Um, two yoga blocks is preferable. If you don't have blocks at home, you can just grab a pillow or even just like a stack of books or something that you can use for some balance or support for your low back at some point. Um, you'll also need a strap. So if you don't have a yoga strap, that's fine. You can also grab um, like a tie or a towel or a belt even, just something that you can use to um, grab onto during the class. And you'll also need some water because you might sweat a little bit. So um, let's get started. So we're gonna start tonight just standing at the top of your mat. Standing proud with your arms by your side, hands or palms facing forward, closing your eyes. And just starting to deepen your breath, ground down through the earth. All together, take a deep breath in and through the open mouth, sigh it out. Again, fill up all the way. And exhale, let it go. One more time, all together, fill all the way up and hold it at the top. Take in one more little sip of air. And exhale, release. So continuing to take some deep breaths like that on your own. Maybe counting for five on the inhale and counting again to five on your exhale. Starting to notice how you're feeling in your body tonight. Physically, mentally, and emotionally. Seeing if you can create a little bit of space with every breath in. And every exhale, releasing something that maybe doesn't serve you. And maybe taking this moment to set an intention for your practice. Whether that be something that you're working on in your own practice or something you're working on achieving in your life. Maybe that's a goal or again, something that you're trying to let go of, move on from. We're coming into a new season. So now is a perfect time to start fresh. And keeping your eyes closed, just start to rock or roll your neck out, going clockwise, making circles. If you find a sweet spot where it feels just really good and you want to hold it there and breathe into it, by all means, please do so. If you're making circles, switch directions. Mm 
and come back through to center. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead, look up towards the sky. And then exhale, reach over for your right wrist with your left hand and just lean slightly over to the left. So you're pulling on your right wrist to stretch out all throughout the right side of your body. You can keep your eyes closed here, maybe gaze under your right arm. Breathing into your right side. Inhale, come on back up through the center, reach up. And then exhale, reach over for your left wrist with your right hand and just lean slightly over towards the right. So again, you're pulling on your left wrist to stretch out your left side. Inhale, come on back up through the center and reach down and grab your yoga strap or your belt, towel, tie, whatever it is you're using at home. And just grab both ends of it with your hands, grab a bit firmly. And just reach your arms up overhead and you can see how I've got the strap here. I've got my arms spread wide apart, holding the strap, really ripping it apart. And we're just going to slowly start to move our arms forward and back. So flossing out the shoulders. So take a breath in as you go back. And on the exhale, send your arms forward. Again, go back. And exhale, send your arms forward. Just continue at your own pace. My good friend, Kate Laird, who is also a yoga teacher, she loves shoulder flossing, and she says it's just as important as flossing your teeth, so you should do it every day. Just a fun little tip there. Two more rounds just like that. On your next exhale, you can release the strap, come up to the front of your mat, reach your arms up overhead, maybe invite a slight back bend, and then fold forward over your legs, just completely relaxing. So in your ragdoll position, you can sway a little bit side to side, that might feel nice. Maybe reach for opposite elbows to stretch out the shoulders and the upper back, or reach in behind your head. Whatever feels good for you tonight. And on your next exhale, release your arms back down towards the mat. Inhale, come on up halfway, finding your hands on your shins. And fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And fold forward. This time as we come up, we're going to hold it there. So you're in your half lift, you've got a nice long spine. And gazing just in front of your mat. And then on your next inhale, just send your arms forward. Start to turn on the core a little bit. Your palms are facing in towards each other. Spine is neutral. Take a breath in, reach forward. And then exhale, send your arms behind you. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, send your arms behind. Inhale. Exhale. Two more rounds. Forward. And back. Last time, reach it forward. Hold it there for five, four, three, 
two, and one. Fold forward, releasing. Come on up halfway. And then exhale, release down to all fours, finding your table pose. So you've done this pose before, but just making sure that you have your shoulders over your wrists, your hips are stacked over your knees. And we're just going to take a few rounds of cat-cow here. So on the inhale, you're going to drop your belly, look up towards the sky. And then exhale, so spread your shoulder blades apart, bring everything in towards center. Inhale, gaze up, drop your belly. Exhale, squeeze everything in. And just continue going like that. Couple more rounds on your own. Now come on back to a neutral spine. Spin your fingers around to face your knees. And we're just gonna slowly rock forward and back, just warming up the wrists the forearms, and even warming up the fingers. So if you find a sweet spot here, again, you're welcome to hold it and just breathe into it. And if this is too much on the wrist, you can always keep your fingers pointing forward and continue with your cat and cows. Send your fingers back to face the front of your mat. And then just step your feet back, finding a high plank pose. So again, your shoulders are still stacked over your wrists. Your fingers are spread wide apart. Palms are planted firmly into the mat. You're spreading your shoulder blades apart, squeezing your glutes, squeezing your core. We'll just take three deep breaths here. And on your next exhale, we'll release down to the mat for three, two, and one. So keeping your hands beside low ribs, tops of your feet are staying in, grounded into the mat. On your inhale, you're just going to lift your chest in your hands, finding bit low baby cobra. And then exhale, release. Lift your forehead, chest, your palms, and then exhale, release. One more round, just like that. <sighs> On your next inhale, find your way back up to high plank or table pose. And then find your way to downward facing dog. So in down dog, you've still got your fingers spread wide apart. Palms are flat into the mat. You're pressing into your palms to get your hips as high as you can. And tending your heels down towards the mat. And just let your head go here. Maybe shake your head yes and no. Release the neck. Maybe pedal at the feet here, crack out the knuckles and the feet. And your next inhale, just step your way up to the top of your mat, finding your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. And then just sink your hips down and back, finding chair pose. So your big toes are together, heels are about an inch apart. If you gaze down past your knees, you want to be able to see your toes. Weight is in your heels, your toes can be lifted or grounded. And your inhale, move up an inch. And then exhale, go down an inch. Take a deep breath in, exhale, release down another inch, inhale, 
exhale inhale exhale last time take a deep breath in and then find your way down to your boat pose so in boat you're on your sit bones you've got a nice tall spine all the way up through to the crown of your head shins are parallel to the mat arms are reaching forward palms facing in towards each other squeezing the core breathing deeply And on your next inhale, send your arms up overhead and then just release down the low boat. So your eyes and toes are in one line. Inhale, come on back up high boat. And then exhale, release low boat. Inhale, come on up high boat. Exhale, release. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lower. Just keep going like this at your own pace for 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Next time you lower, let's hold it in low boat. Flutter kick your toes a little bit here. Maybe scissor the legs. Really fire up your core and release down to the mat. Inhale, draw your knees in towards center and then reach in behind your legs and just start to rock and roll up and down the length of your spine. <sighs> and next time you come up, find your way into table pose and then send your hips up and back, downward dog. So we're coming into our first standing sequence here. So bring your big toes together and then inhale, send your right leg up towards the sky, bend your knee and then open up your hip. So squeezing your right glute to get your right leg as high as you can. Shoulders are staying square to the front of the mat. Inhale and then bring your right um, elbow to your right wrist and then come on back up. Sorry, that was supposed to be right knee, right wrist, right knee, left wrist. Send it back up and then uh, exhale, bring your right knee in towards your nose and then step on through low lunge. So if you have knee issues here, you can always fold your mat over to give yourself some padding. Otherwise you're coming up, intending to keep your hips square to the front of the room. Your right knee is stacked over your right ankle, arms are reaching up, shoulders can be relaxed here. <sighs> And then reach over for your right uh, wrist with your left hand and just lean slightly over to the left. So we're finding that lateral stretch that we took at the beginning of class. Inhale, come on back up through the center. And then exhale, shift your hips back and straighten out your right leg, finding your half splits. So right toes are flexed, pointing in towards your right shin. You're sending your right hip back and your left hip forward. Take a breath in to uh, lengthen. And then exhale, fold forward over your knee. Inhale, re-bend back into your right knee, send your arms up overhead, low lunge. And then just bring your hands into prayer at heart center, lean slightly forward, and then hook your left elbow over your right knee, finding low crescent twist. So you're really pushing your elbow and knee together to get your chest as high as you can. Gazing up towards the ceiling. Inhale, come on back up through to low lunge. 
And then exhale, plant your palms onto the mat and step your way back to high plank. Take a breath in here. And then lower down all the way to your belly. This time we'll find cobra, so we're lifting our chest all the way up. Palms are planted. And then exhale and release. Push your way back up table or high plank. And come on back, downward facing dog. This time on your inhale, it's your left leg going up. Bend your knee and then open up your hip. Stocking your hips and keeping your shoulders square. Breath in. And then exhale, draw left knee to left elbow. Send your left leg up and back. Left knee, right elbow. Send your leg up and back. And this time it's your knee coming in towards your nose. Hold it there. And then step on through low lunge. So again, take that option to pad the knee. And then reach your arms up overhead. Settling in, keeping your hips square to the front of the mat. And this time you're reaching over for your left wrist with your right hand and just leaning slightly right. So you're gazing up and under your left arm. On your next inhale, come on back up through the center. And then on your exhale, send your hips back, straighten out left leg. Left toes are flexed, pointing in towards your shin. Hips are square to the front of the room. Take a breath in to lengthen. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, rebend back into your left knee. Send your arms up overhead. And then draw your palms to heart center. Lean slightly forward. And then twist your body, hooking right elbow over left knee. Again, pushing them in towards each other to get your chest as high as you can. You're gazing up towards the sky. And just taking some deep breaths. Inhale, reach up, overhead, low lunge. And then exhale, plant your palms, stepping back, high plank. Lower all the way down to your belly for three, two, and one. Again, we're finding cobra pose, so palms are planted, lifting your chest. And then exhale, release. Push your way back up through the table or high plank. And then send your hips up and back, downward dog. Hmm. This time you can either walk, hop, or step to the front of your mat. Forward, forward fold, and then inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Maybe take a slight back bend. And then exhale, sink your hips, finding your chair pose. So your biceps are beside your ears. Knees are together, big toes are together, heels are an inch apart. Hold it here. Deep breath in. And on the exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, plant your palms. <laughs> Lower down all the way or halfway this time, finding chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. And then exhale, send your hips up and back, downward dog. So drop down to your knees just for a sec, grab a sip of water before we move on to our next side. And when you're ready, we'll meet back in Downward Dog. So we're gonna add on slightly to our first sequence. We'll add a little bit of balancing. Hmm. 
So once everyone settle back in, big toes together and send your right leg up and back. Bend your knee and open your hip. And then exhale, draw right knee, right tricep. Optional push up this time. And send your leg up and back. Right knee, left tricep, optional push up. Send your leg back. And then exhale, draw your right knee towards your nose, hold it, squeeze your glute or your glutes, squeeze your heel. And then step on through. Make sure your feet are on separate tracks. You're on the ball of your back foot, you're off your left knee. And then we're gonna come on up, crescent lunge. So again, right knee is stacked. You've got your hips pointing towards the front of the room on the ball of your back foot. And we're gonna take that lateral stretch one more time. So reach for your right wrist and lean slightly over to the left. A little bit more challenging this time with the balance. Inhale, come on back up through the center. And then just step your um, back foot in slightly, send your left foot out on a 45 degree angle. Straighten out into your right leg, hips are uh, facing forward. Take a breath in, reach up. And then exhale, fold forward, finding your pyramid pose. So this is a good time to grab blocks if you have them or that stack of books, whatever it is you have at home. If you need some support to bring the ground closer to you. Otherwise you're intending to bring your palms or the fingertips to the mat. You can add a slight micro bend into your right knee if that helps. On your next breath in, re-bend into your right knee, coming onto the ball of your back foot, reach up, crescent lunge. And then draw your hands in towards heart center, lean slightly forward, and then twist over to the right, hooking left elbow on right knee, finding your crescent twist. So we did this in low lunge, so now we're doing the full expression. If you wanna add on here, you can open up your arms, opening the chest, or if you wanna take an interlace, you can reach your right hand in behind your back and then send your left arm underneath your right leg and try to connect the hands. So wherever you are, you're still opening your chest. Inhale, come on back up through the center and reach up high on the inhale and on the exhale, lean uh, forward, send your arms behind you, runner's lunge. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead, and then exhale, lean forward, send your arms behind you. One more time, reach up. And then this time, stabilize into your right foot, send all your weight into your right, and then lift up off your back foot, finding your warrior three. So you're balancing on your right leg, arms are behind you, or you can bring them to heart center in prayer. You're keeping your left toes pointing down towards the mat, squeezing into your right glute, and your left glute to get your left leg higher. Nice long spine. And finding one point of focus to gaze will help you with your balance. Last breath in. And then exhale, keep your leg lifted and just plant your palms, finding your standing splits. So you can send your toes out a little bit here, open up the hip, find some external rotation. One more breath in, send your left leg as high as you can, and then exhale, release. Whew. That was really burning. <laughs> Inhale, take a half eye lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up all the way. And then exhale, fold forward, plant your palms. Step back, high plank. Lower down, halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, send your hips up. Downward dog. This time it's your left leg going up and back. Bend your left knee and open your hip. Deep breath in. And then exhale, it's your right uh, left knee, left tricep, optional push up. 
Send your leg up and back. Left knee, right tricep, optional push-up. Send your leg up and back. Left knee in towards your nose. Really squeeze your heel in towards your glute. Hold it. And then exhale, step on through. Feet on separate tracks on the ball of your back foot. And then come on up, crescent lunge. This time you're reaching for your left wrist. Last time we're doing this stretch. Lean slightly over towards the right. Finding somewhere to focus your eyes to find your balance. Inhale, come on back up through the center. And then this time you're stepping your right foot in slightly, sending your toes out 45 degrees, straightening out into your left leg, making sure your hips are pointing forward. Inhale, reach up, slight back bend, and then exhale, fold forward over your left leg. So again, you have the option to grab those blocks. Otherwise, you're just settling into your pyramid pose. One more breath in here. And then re-bend back into your left leg, coming onto the ball of your back foot, reaching your arms up overhead, crescent lunge. And this time bring your hands towards your heart center in prayer, lean slightly forward, and you're hooking your right elbow onto your left knee, finding your crescent twist. Really pushing knee and elbow in towards each other to make sure your chest is the highest part of your body right now. And if you're taking that optional add-on, you can open up your arms or find the bind reaching underneath your left leg. Wherever you are, you're opening your chest, you're breathing. Inhale, come on back up through to center, crescent lunge. Take a breath in, reach up, and then exhale, lean forward, send your arms back behind you, runner's lunge. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, release forward. Last time, reach up and stabilizing into your left leg. We're gonna lean forward and float off of our back foot, finding warrior three on our left leg. So again, you're really squeezing into your right glute to get your leg higher. Toes are flexed and pointing down towards the ground. Arms can either be by your side, reaching forward or at heart center, wherever you can balance. Finding one point of focus, breathing. Last breath in here. And then exhale, plant your palms, finding your standing splits. So you can send your right toes out slightly, externally rotate the hip to get your leg as high as you can. Last breath in. And then exhale, release your right foot to meet your left. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up, look up. And then exhale, fold forward, planting your palms, stepping back to high plank. Breath in. And then exhale, release down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And then exhale, downward dog. Then just dropping down to your knees from here, sending your hips towards your heels, and just folding over your legs to find child's pose, so you can release your arms by your side, or send them forward, and bring your knees mat width apart, whatever feels better for you.
and take a breath in, roll forward, finding table pose, and then send your hips up and back, downward dog. Inhale, send your right leg up and back behind you. And then just draw your right knee in towards your right wrist, lowering down onto your right leg, dropping the back leg, releasing the top of the foot to the ground. Take a breath in here, and then exhale, fold forward over your right knee, finding pigeon pose. So again, here, if you have any knee issues, you can grab your block or your pillow, just slide it underneath your right hip, that might help you. Um, or you can take 90-90 pose, so you're gonna send your right chin parallel to the front of the mat and bring your left foot in behind you, like this. So both legs are on 90 degrees, so whatever feels better for your body. If you're in pigeon, you can just make a little pillow for your hands, or for your forehead with your hands and just settle in. We'll be here for about 10 breaths, so make sure you're comfortable. Find your way back up onto your hands, and then just step back however you want, back to downward facing dog. So let me pedal at your feet here. You're welcome to take a flow between sides. Otherwise, it's your left leg going up and back this time. And then just drawing your left knee in towards your left wrist, dropping down onto the left leg, releasing your right leg behind you. You're on the top of your back foot. Take a breath in here, and then exhale, fold forward. Same options apply on this side if you have any knee problems. Inhale, come on back up to your palms. Step your way back to downward dog. And just pedal out the feet here a couple times, just to release everything. And then drop down towards your knees, send your feet out to one side, and then make your way down onto your back. Take a breath in, hug your knees in towards your chest. Maybe make some circles with the knees just to release any tension in the low back. Switching directions. Take a breath in, squeeze everything in towards center. And then exhale, release your left foot out forward, draw your right knee in towards your right shoulder. Keep your left toes flexed in towards your knee. You're welcome to massage out the hip inviting a slight rock with the right leg side to side. And just drawing, or intending to draw your right knee in as close to your right shoulder as you can.
bring the sole of your left foot onto the mat, cross your right ankle over your left knee, and either interlace your fingers in behind your left leg or on top of your left knee, draw the left knee in towards you and send your right knee away. So you're keeping your right toes flexed in towards your right shin. On your next exhale, send your left leg out forward, draw your right knee in towards your right shoulder, and just pick up your hips and move them slightly over to the right. And with the help of your left hand, draw your right knee across your body, coming into a twist. So you might hear your back crack here. Keeping both shoulder blades grounded, gazing over your right shoulder towards your, left, or your right hand. And close your eyes here and just get comfortable. Breathe into the twist. Inhale, draw your knees back in towards center. Give yourself a little squeeze. And then exhale, release your right foot out forward. Draw your left knee in towards your left shoulder. So again, keeping your right toes flexed in towards your shin. And you can massage out the hip joint here by just rocking the knee slightly back and forth. And just intending your left shoulder or your uh, left knee in towards your left shoulder as much as you can. Bring the sole of your right foot onto the mat, crossing left ankle over your right knee, uh, interlacing your fingers either behind right um, leg or over top of your right knee, sorry. Draw your right knee in towards you and send your left knee away. So keeping your left toes flexed in here, and tending your right knee in, your left knee away. Keeping the low back grounded. On your next exhale, send your right leg out forward, drawing left knee in towards you. Pick up your hips and move them slightly over towards the left. And then with the help of your right hand, draw your left knee across your body, finding your twist on the other side. That was a really good crack. <laughs> so keeping your shoulder blades grounded, gazing over your left shoulder towards your left hand.
Inhale, bring your knees back in through the center. Give yourself a squeeze. And then reach for your block or your pillow or whatever it is you have as support. Bring your heels in towards you and just lift up your hips and slide the block underneath on the lowest setting. Or if you've got your pillow, just slide that underneath. So we're in our supported bridge pose. You can either keep your knees pointing up towards the ceiling or you can send your feet out front. And this should be a really nice release for the low back. Arms can come by your side. This is just our prep for Shavasana. And if you're resting on the block, you can either keep your legs out front. If you want to do a waterfall pose, you can send your legs up towards the sky. It's effortless. It feels great. Send some blood back in towards your heart. And this is also a good pose to do before bed. It's actually really effective, so. Hmm. Wherever you are, you're just starting to relax. Come back to your normal breath. Last breath wherever you are. And then on your exhale, just release the block. Give yourself one last squeeze in, maybe bring your forehead to your knees and just release everything down towards the mat. Dropping your feet open, palms are facing up towards the sky. Take one last deep breath in all together. Through the open mouth, re release. And enjoy your Shavasana. Start to bring some awareness back to your body, wiggling toes and fingers, rocking your ankles and wrists, rolling them out, moving your head side to side. Draw your knees back in towards your chest, give yourself a squeeze, and then just roll over onto your right side, creating a pillow your head with your right bicep and keeping your eyes closed find your way up to a comfortable seat finding a nice tall spine bringing your palms down to your knees Thank you all for showing up on your mat tonight to practice with me. I hope you're all feeling good and relaxed and ready to enjoy the rest of your evening. Namaste. So for those of you that are still here, um, we're conducting a review of our programs at Max Ottawa. So we've 
uh, posted a comment in the comment section of this video um, with a link where you can go and you can just review uh, the class. Maybe you have some suggestions for future um, poses or something you want to do. Or if you're looking to do any other workshops with Max, um, we'd be happy to get your feedback. So if you can just do that, that would be great. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks, guys. Bye.